Hello everybody, I'm Nate and welcome to the channel. It's been a minute since I've done a video here, uh, but today I have a uh, review for you. This is the newest little mini yo-yo from Rain City Skills that they sent over. This is the Busker. So let's get into the Busker. Three different colorways on this one. This one here, uh, this is the uh, the Street Magician, and it has this black and purple kind of split uh, with a little bit of uh, silver or white speckle on that. Uh, I like that one a lot, and uh, I think I think I like this one actually of the three, uh, which I'll picture right here. Of the three there, uh, I believe I like this one the best. They, I never know what they're going to send me uh, colorway wise. Uh, and this was a surprise, by the way. I feel like Rain City has been doing that a lot lately of just kind of sending me something. I'll get it in the mail and be like, oh, all right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so uh, I didn't honestly know anything about this yo-yo coming into it. Uh, I had to kind of look a little bit on my own and found out it is, well, it's their newest yo-yo and it's a mini. And it is a full C-size bearing, so that kind of does give it some distinction. It's not an A-size bearing maybe, or maybe a half spec to make it like, I don't know, responsive or something like that, or a D-size bearing or, or something like that. Uh, it is a full C-size bearing. It is meant to be played unresponsive and uh, capable. Now, if you remember the Show Pony, which I have done a review View of that yo-yo. I actually really like that yo-yo a lot. A really nice organic O-shaped yo-yo. Uh, this is kind of in that sort of family of pony, uh, show pony. Uh, and it has a very similar kind of profile, but obviously much, much smaller. It does have uh, the uh, kind of standard Lego hubs there as well. So if you want to put a Lego piece on there, you can do that. Uh, I believe those little like finger spin hubs that they you can buy as well. And I have some, I don't have any on me currently. I believe they will fit in here as far as the in the diameter of the, uh, the pocket there, but I believe they will fit in there. Pretty hefty, like it feels even though it's kind of small, it feels real chunky. It feels like a pretty solid piece of metal. Uh, it's really hard to kind of make a really rim weighted, you know, mini yo-yo in the first place, right? Because uh, it just, even if you try, uh, it's just gonna feel like everything's kind of center massed and all kind of together. Uh, it is kind of difficult, I think, uh, to, to make a mini yo-yo playable in the same way that a full size or even an over large yo-yo might be. And I think you have to just kind of play it differently because of that. Um, one thing I notice a lot, and I, I do notice it with this one a little bit, is that as you come up for a bind, you have to be a little more conservative with your binds uh, because it kind of almost wants to stop kind of midway. I have actually on here, this is my prestige string. So this is a pretty thick string. Um, I wanted to try it with that. And I'll kind of throw it with that a little bit. Uh, it did come with, if I can find it in my pocket here. Oh. Here we go. <clears throat> it did come with some of their thin string as well, which does play a little bit better in the gap of this yo-yo. Um, I think it fits uh, the, the design a little bit better. However, I don't really like this thin string. I don't like the feel of it in general on my hand. Um, so maybe that's just kind of getting used to a little bit. Uh, but in general, I'm not a fan of the thinner string. I just like the feel of a thicker string. But I think for the purposes of throwing it to its best of its ability. This is probably the only way you can go. They do sell it on their website as well. And um, so you can you can get that. I don't know if they have it in any other colorways other than this sort of like, you know, white uh, with a red stripe through it. Uh, kind of has like a candy cane sort of uh, vibe to it. You might find it also helpful possibly to kind of shorten your string than you would normally do just a little bit. Um, I feel like that might be a little more forgiving on some of those binds that are a little trickier possibly. I think this also might be a good candidate for like a responsive uh, setup as well. Maybe kind of uh, greasing up maybe or, or putting some Omega lube or something like that in the C size bearing here. Uh, I think that might actually be a really good candidate to kind of keep this as a responsive yo-yo. But again, uh, it is meant to be unresponsive so that's how we're going to play it. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, switch the camera up a little bit back up here and then uh, we'll throw it around and give some comments on it. All right. I also forgot to mention some of their packaging. Uh, really simple with this one, actually. A little more straightforward. Uh, it comes with a little drawstring bag, some stickers. Um, also a little, uh, like, croc charm, uh, random. Uh, but I don't know if those will be random as well. And I think the stickers are random. There's a chicken sticker in here as well. Uh, so anyways, so just a little package of stickers and then a little drawstring bag. 
and also some maple candy, of course, which I already ate. I mentioned that a mini yo-yo is really kind of difficult to get something that's like rim weighted, right? Or something that's really uh, feeling like it's not just lumped together uh, as far as the mass of the yo-yo. And I don't know if there's anything you can really do as far as design. Uh, I would like to see a bimetal maybe design uh, with a mini yo-yo. Um, but overall, I don't think it feels too much like a brick, um, but it's, it's still got a little bit of that quality, uh, which I don't love. I don't honestly really love mini yo-yos. I have had many over the years and there have been some that are really good and some that are okay. Um, I, you know, in general, I, I feel like you can only go so far with a mini yo-yo. I, I think in general, the, the right approach to it is just kind of expecting a little less performance. Um, and that's okay, you know, just kind of like a fun yo-yo, something that you can kind of just keep in your pockets. I mentioned that sometimes on a bind, it doesn't necessarily want to like come up all the way. And if you've had mini yo-yos, you kind of know what I'm talking about here. Uh, it just, it just wants to kind of stop midway. So you have to be, I think, a little bit more conservative with your binds, just making sure uh, that you're kind of giving it a little bit extra grace here, so to speak. All right, I'm going to try to do a beef hook real quick with this little mini guy. It's, it's harder than it looks. Come on, I got this. Hey! Let me try one more. Two in a row? Nope. <laughs> now, from what I can remember, it actually feels like a little bit like, like a dingo. Uh, a one-drop dingo, if you remember that yo-yo. Definitely has that kind of feel on the string. It's not going to get like the craziest spin times, and it's not going to be super stable. And it's going to like want to miss the string a lot and uh, probably be a little frustrating. Um, but like, oh my goodness, let me see if I can do like one Eli hop. Hey. hey. So it's not going to be as forgiving by any means. And I think one benefit to like playing a mini yo-yo is to kind of give a little time with it and then maybe pick up a full size yo-yo, something with a wide gap. And you're like, whoa, okay, all right. I realized how privileged I am. Or, or, you know, your accuracy kind of increases. So maybe try something like Black Ops, like that, and see if you can, you know, hit that trick really well and pretty easily. Man, it's been a while since I've done that trick in general. Uh, but maybe I uh, try something like that that's gonna take a little bit more precision and see if you can kind of carry that over into full-size yo-yo. I don't know, maybe it'll actually give you some confidence in that. All right, let's go ahead and swap out this thin string just to kind of show you what maybe a standard string might feel like, and we'll go from there. So this is my prestige string. This is pretty thick string. If you've played my zipline prestige string, it is pretty much as thick as it can get pretty much. Uh, and uh, it's, yeah, it's gonna probably fill this gap pretty easily. But I did shorten it a little bit more than I would normally. It's obviously gonna put a lot more string in the gap there. So I think generally you're gonna be better off with a thinner string just for that reason. Um, but also maybe kind of Binds are going to be a little less forgiving. Like right there, do not approach the busker like you would maybe with the show pony, right? Just assuming that it's the same kind of size, that it's going to have the same performance capabilities. It's just not. And that's probably okay, right? It's okay that it, it doesn't. Just approach it differently and just have some fun. All right, that is my review of the busker by Rain City Skills. If you like this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe and all that stuff you're supposed to do on the old YouTubes. I'll see you in the next one. Later.